Hey YouTube, I'm going to do a video today on a, my earthquake kit. Uh, I put this kit together uh, right after the big Peru earthquake last year. I don't know if you guys recall, uh, a few weeks later there was a huge one that hit Indonesia and then there was a third that hit uh, up uh, it was Malaysia or someplace. Anyway, uh, that got me thinking, and I wanted to prepare myself because I kind of figured that, you know, Orange County or Southern California area was due for one as well. So I put a kit together, and I'll show you what I got in it. Uh, this here is a uh, Duracell 600 watt, uh, 120 volt uh, battery pack. It's got three standard AC outlets on it, a uh, clock radio and a flashlight and a uh, standard 12 volt uh, automobile type accessory uh, plug and also the charger was duct taped to the uh, handle on that uh, battery pack in this box as actually a solar panel that uh, is all set up and wired to charge that battery pack uh, inside here I have some various uh, gloves, some heavy-duty rubber gloves, some work gloves, and some mechanics wear gloves. And this is a standard uh, aluminum, uh, kind of a cheesy little cook kit for camping. Uh, this is the same radio that I have in my Eveler stock cap, uh, backpack rather. Uh, it's a solar-powered uh, hand crank radio with weather band AM, FM, as well as a uh, USB uh, charger port. Uh, here we have a couple of tools. I have a uh, five pound sledgehammer and a uh, SOG fusion uh, tomahawk uh, hatchet type thing. One end is really pointy, the other is uh, bladed. And of course, your trusty crowbar, uh, just in case a zombie apocalypse happens, you know, I might be able to use it on a zombie too. Uh, inside this uh, dry box, I have an LED flashlight, uh, a couple of batteries, five or six packs of uh, Strike Anywhere matches, and some water purification ability. And uh, here I have a can opener. You'll see why I have that in a bit. And I have a few of these uh, two and a half gallon uh, size uh, collapsible water storage containers. Uh, I have some uh, nylon rope. It's uh, 100 feet. I think it was rated for 300 pounds. Uh, here I'm fighting with a roll of tape. It stuck itself to the outside of a bag. And it's Gorilla Tape. Uh, I guess that sticky factor speaks for itself, doesn't it? Uh, inside this bag I have various uh, regular like shower towels and some of those ShamWow type towels of various sizes. Uh, inside this bag, I have a case of the mainstay emergency food rations. Uh, there's 12 bars in this case. Uh, each bar it has enough calories to sustain an individual for three days. Uh, can't imagine they taste very good. Here I have a, a very spectacular roll of uh, 550 cord, 250 feet. I believe it was very inexpensive due to its color. I can get what you can get, right? Uh, inside here, I have some 511 tactical uh, insulated waterproof uh, duty boots, uh, combat style boots. Uh, inside this bag, I have two uh, six by six uh, wool blankets that are uh, kind of an OD green color. Uh, this bag here looks like I have four number 10 cans of Mountain House. Uh, here we have uh, some stroganoff and noodles. I believe that also there are some chicken and rice and vegetables and probably some uh, chili mac. And I don't know what's in the fourth. Here we have a uh, just standard GI issue uh, collapsible shovel inside this box. I have uh, altered this 72-hour uh, mountain house uh, kit. It also, I think I added about 10 extra envelopes. So instead of a 72-hour, maybe it's a, you know, maybe five days worth of food, possibly, depending on how long you could make it stretch. 
inside this bag I have just various clothes items, extra t-shirts, extra socks, underwear, a couple wear BDUs, a couple of pair of BDUs, pardon me, uh, for my wife and I, and uh, some of her unmentionables. And inside this bag I have a uh, camping uh, ground mat, uh, self-inflatable ground mat, and uh, th two or three of these adventure medical kits, uh, bivy bags uh, that are made out of that basically that uh, space blanket material, except it's uh, a lot thicker. It's much more durable. Uh, uh, here I have a uh, big thing of hand sanitizer. You know, if you look at Japan and the way it's taking so long for them to get their water restored, their power restored. Uh, you're definitely going to want to keep yourself as clean as possible. Uh, inside this bag I have various tool items. Uh, I've got some wrenches, a couple of pair of vice grips, a couple of different sizes of screwdrivers, and uh, an adjustable wrench uh, just in case I need to uh, turn off my gas and my water. And also I have uh, a couple of tarps. This is one of them. It's camouflage on one side and uh, flat OD green on the bottom. Uh, there's another tarp. I believe this one's blue on one side and uh, it's kind of a Metallica, Metallica, <laughs> metallic color on the uh, outside there. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I put all these things in this box. I'm actually glad I'm going through it because I honestly don't remember and I'm, I'm seeing some mistakes uh, with some of the way I things, have things packed. Uh, maybe I'll do a different video when I re redo them. Right now I'm trying to get into a gray box that's uh, kind of like the a storage container inside. Um, I think I'm going to move the camera over so you can get a better view of what's inside that container so I don't have to rip it all out of there and get a better view for you here. Pardon the camera shake. Uh, I don't have a lot of time to edit these videos so I apologize for the uh, lack of professionalism in the photography. But uh, anyway, getting back to the video. Uh, sitting right there on that uh, left side of that uh, storage container is a two cell mag light with three extra batteries. Also you can see to the left of that where I set it and I have a, a plentiful water supply. Here's a small uh, medical kit with uh, band-aids, gauze pad, tape, uh, some uh, bobby, or not bobby pins, what are those things called? Safety pins, uh, some medical tape, uh, burn gel, different uh, uh, alcohol pads, benzoin peroxide pads. Let's see what else we got. And here, actually, that first kit was for uh, for me to give to somebody if they really needed uh, some medical supplies. Uh, this kit has, is a little more uh, better packed. It has a lot more in it. Uh, you can see the gloves there. There's some Steri strips, uh, plenty of gauze pads uh, inside that very bottom pouch. That's detachable. That has some uh, uh, blood stopper tourniquets in it. And as well as, you know, your standard band-aids and whatnot. Here we have some uh, nylon strapping and some tent pole spikes. Uh, that's some really old trail mix I might have to throw out. Uh, this is a camping uh, utility knife slash fork knife spoon kind of a multi-tool. Let's see, what do we got in here? Uh, I have a big bag of tea candles and another uh, foldable uh, water carrier and a few extra pair of socks there in that Ziploc. Another water carrier. Uh, this is a MSR, I believe it's a, called a Sweetwater. Uh, it's a hand pump water purification system. And uh, you know, your standard venture medical kits, uh, field medicine, medicine, 
field medicine kit. Uh, here's another one. I didn't know I had those doubled up. But all, that bag also has uh, some uh, writing uh, writing tablet on it, and no pencil or pen in it. Obviously, this is one of the mistakes I made there. Uh, right here is an Esbit uh, camping stove. Uh, there's also a roll of electrical tape in there, and the Esbit uh, fuel uh, pellets. Uh, I have some hydrogen peroxide in case I want to bleach my hair, and uh, no, I'm just kidding. Hydrogen peroxide and some uh, rubbing alcohol, clean down any wounds, just, just miscellaneous uh, alcohol swabs and some medicines. I have uh, extra double and triple A batteries for a couple of the items in here. Uh, have some beef jerky that also should be thrown away probably at this point. It's, uh, I think, uh, at least a year old. It's vacuum packed. It might be okay, but uh, here we have a, uh, a different sewing kit, a standard sewing kit, and a uh, big bottle of ibuprofen pills, as well as a big bottle of aspirin. I also have a few uh, things of chapstick there. Uh, you'll remember this from my uh, get home bag. Uh, it's just a uh, candle lantern. And uh, right here I have a bottle of uh, camping uh, fuel that goes with a stove, which I'm showing you here. It's made by SIG. It's a great Swiss company. Uh, they make durable, good stuff. I've had this stove for 12 years, or more than that, and uh, it works great. And underneath where I set that stove, actually, you can see a uh, camping, uh, another camping uh, cookware kit. Uh, here I have another sewing kit. It's military style. It's got uh, all the thread that would uh, match with the uh, colors of camouflage. And uh, that's about it for that gray box. I'm just going to pick up the camera and show you the inside of the box or the kit. Uh, just show you what water I have in there. Uh, you have to move some of these things out of the way though. Give me a minute here. So I believe in here I have the equivalent of four cases of water. Uh, that black bag you see there is actually a three-man tent. And uh, yeah, I'm prepared. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it gets uh, some of you people along the Pacific seaboard thinking. Uh, you know, when that Japan quake hit, uh, obviously the tsunami that uh, took place there afterwards was more devastating than the actual earthquake itself. I, uh, my house is up at uh, well above sea level. If you look out there in the distance, uh, you can see the ocean. Uh, the tsunami would have to come pretty far in order to get me. All right, well, the SoCal Prepper's out of here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.